Good afternoon, everybody. This is meteorologist Elizabeth Shank with the National Weather Service in San Diego, and this is your weekly weather briefing. Several things we're going to be talking about this afternoon. The first is the persistent heat that has been plaguing Southern California. We'll continue through the middle and end of this work week, and with that, we have extended some of our heat warnings that are currently out. The second thing we're going to be talking about is the chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms developing for the second half of this work week across the mountains and the deserts as monsoonal moisture starts to make its way back into Southern California. Taking a look first at some of our current conditions, this is a 24 hour change in temperature across our area. As you can see, most areas are running cooler than what we saw at this time yesterday. So ranging anywhere from three to 10 degrees below what we saw this time yesterday across San Diego County. Um, and an even more substantial change um, across the Inland Empire compared to what we saw Sunday afternoon. So temperatures ranging 10 to 15 degrees below what we saw this time yesterday. Um, the only areas that are running slightly above are across the high deserts. Uh, Victorville is right around four degrees above what we saw at this time yesterday. So a little bit cooler across our area for Labor Day. However, with these cooler temperatures, we actually did see increases in the relative humidity across our area as well. Um, so things are feeling a little bit less dry this afternoon. Across the Coachella Valley, there has been a pretty substantial increase in relative humidity. Um, so out there, temperatures are currently in the upper 90s to low 100s. So with a substantial increase in the relative humidity, probably feeling like a pretty uncomfortable and muggy day out there. Um, so pretty humid across that area um, and a little bit of moisture increase across most of our area as well. The excessive heat warning has been extended through Wednesday evening across the Apple and Lucerne Valleys. High temperatures over the next several days will range anywhere from 102 to 110 degrees across the high desert. There will be a widespread moderate heat risk with local high to local very high heat risk across this area over the next several days. We have also extended the heat advisory that has been in place across the Inland Empire as well as the mountains. For the Inland Empire, we're looking at high temperatures of the upper 90s to right around 104 degrees through Friday. And then for the mountains, we're looking at temperatures in the upper 80s to the upper 90s. Um, so this heat advisory is now in effect through 9 p.m. on Friday. With this extended heat that we're looking at across our area, there are a few safety tips that we need to touch on. Um, so the first is make sure that you never leave children or pets unattended in vehicles and always check the locks before you walk away from your car. Um, the second is make sure that you avoid strenuous activity if you can help it during the hottest parts of the day. Try to do that work early in the morning before the heat sets in or later in the evening once conditions have started to cool off. Um, make sure that you're staying hydrated and also make sure that you wear lightweight, loose colored, loose fit clothing and light colored clothing to stay cool. Taking a more in-depth look at the high temperatures for the next several days across our area, continued very hot conditions across the lower deserts with temperatures topping out around 108 to 110 degrees, especially across the Coachella Valley. High temperatures topping out in the mid to upper 90s across the Inland Empire and in the low 100s across the high deserts. So widespread low to moderate heat risk for Tuesday. For Wednesday, uh, temperatures are going to continue to be very warm, especially across the Inland Empire. Upper 90s to low 100s for the high temperatures, low to mid 100s across the high deserts, and then temp temperatures right around 108 to 110 degrees across the low deserts. Thursday continued warm conditions across the Inland Empire. Temperatures are actually going to start to fall a little bit across the low deserts. Um, and this is going to be due to increasing monsoonal moisture across those areas, um, but continued very hot conditions across the mountains as well as across the Inland Empire with widespread moderate heat risk. And then looking at Friday, the last day of our heat advisory, um, continued warm upper 90s to low 100s across the Inland Empire, mid 90s, especially across the San Diego County mountains um, and widespread moderate heat risk. The second thing we're gonna be talking about today is the chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms developing across Southern California for Thursday and Friday. 
Um, so Thursday, we're going to have that increasing monsoonal moisture, especially across the lower deserts and into the mountains. Um, scattered thunderstorms will be possible everywhere from the low deserts through the mountains and high deserts um, and even into eastern portions of the inland valleys. Um, so there's going to be a good chance for some scattered thunderstorm activity, especially across the mountains on Thursday. Chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms will transfer a little bit farther north for Friday, with the chances being more centered across the Riverside County Mountains as well as the San Bernardino County Mountains. Some hazards we're going to be paying attention to with these thunderstorms will be the chance for some lightning strikes, as well as some breezy winds near these thunderstorms and locally very heavy to potentially torrential rainfall. So make sure that you're keeping an eye to the sky for Thursday and Friday afternoons. Thanks so much for watching. Again, this is meteorologist Elizabeth Shank with the National Weather Service. For the latest forecast updates, make sure that you follow us on social media. And for point-specific forecasts, check out weather.gov slash SGX. Thanks for watching.